Okay friends, it's time to get started on replacing our VBT solenoid. Something that I want to mention about this is it's a good idea to make sure you do an oil change after you're done the VBT solenoid. Now with all that said, let's locate it. That's going to be located on the very front of your engine, on the passenger side, in between the engine and the alternator. Let's move along to the electrical harness for this. Right where my thumb is, along the top, there's a squeeze tab. Squeeze that down, pull this off, inspect it for corrosion. That looks fine, I'll set it aside. The next thing it's a good idea to do is use some compressed air. We're gonna make sure there's no dirt or debris in this area. We don't want anything getting into the engine. There we go. Now the next thing I wanna do after it's cleaned down is loosen this bracket and pivot it out of the way. There is one mounting bolt for the VVT solenoid that we need to gain access to. It's gonna be easier with this bracket out of the way. With that said, I'll move over to the alternator side of the bracket and use a 13 millimeter socket to loosen this bolt. Once that one's loose, move along to the engine side and use a 12 millimeter, fully remove that and swing the bracket out of the way. It's a good idea to go ahead and clean down this area one last time, just to ensure there's nothing in the area. After that, continue on with a 10 millimeter socket. We'll remove our one mounting bolt and then carefully slide the VBT solenoid out of the vehicle. Let's grab onto the VVT solenoid, give it a little wiggle and try to separate it from the engine. If it does not want to pull out, carefully use a flat blade screwdriver, get in between the VVT solenoid and the engine, and then gently pry it. There it is, friends. Once it's out of there, go ahead and clean up the area. Okay, friends, now it's time to install our brand new VVT solenoid. You'll notice where my rubber seal is, I used a thin amount of motor oil. The reason why I want to use that is so that I can fairly easily slide this into the engine without damaging the seal. Let's go ahead and carefully put this in place. You'll find as you press it up towards the engine, that seal almost makes it feel like it does not want to slide in. That's okay. Just go ahead and press it in. Sometimes you have to wiggle it a little bit. There you are. The next thing you want to do is go ahead and line up that mounting bolt hole, start in your mounting bolt by hand, bottom it out, and then we'll torque that to manufacturer specification. Once you have it in there, torque it to 66 inch pounds. Once it's torqued, go ahead and plug it in. Give that a tug, make sure it's secure. Now we can move along to our alternator adjustment bracket. We'll take this and we'll slide it right on the stud closest to the engine. After that, go ahead and start on your mounting nut. We'll bottom out the mounting nut and the bolt at the alternator and then we'll torque those to manufacturer's specification as well.
torque the mounting nut located at the engine to 112 inch pounds. Now we'll torque the mounting nut at the alternator to 189 inch pounds. Okay friends, the VVT solenoid is fully installed into the engine. At this point, as I stated at the beginning of the video, it's a good idea to go ahead and do an oil change on your vehicle. It only makes sense to have fresh clean oil in this area so you don't cause damage to your new VVT solenoid. After that, go ahead and start it up. Make sure you don't hear any funny noises, you don't have a check engine light, and then take it for a road test. Thanks for watching.